surprised it took that long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guilty as charged. I do be taking some filters, especially the one with the lashes on it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Shit's already done for you. First yeah. thing in the morning. Yeah. 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 With the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh lashes. What, what about guys? What do you think about the guys? Ooh, for guys, I have to definitely still go with the half fish because I've been half fished a couple times. Mm. Wow. They got a five. Head. I ain't gonna, that's what no, I said there. Four head. Yeah. Mm. The the or they don't have a hairline. It's no, their hairline be real. fucked up too. It'd be like back here because it, it's receding. Them barbers, man. No, no, it ain't the barbers. It's, oh, the, it's the genetics. It's the genetics. It's the genetics. No, I actually posted something this week that it was a. Uh, it was um. Uh, energy drinks I was causing it, and I was like, "Damn, that's Not crazy!" I don't drink Duke. energy drinks. So I was like, "That must them be it," because I don't drink them. The gas station. Them pills from the gas station. Yeah, the gas stone station. ain't gonna have no hair, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What? Uh, um, wait. What was the question again? Oh yeah, catfish or how do guys catfish? How do women catfish? Um, I mean, everyone's already pretty much said everything, but like girls, they be photoshopping a lot. Yeah, so basically, like, like the filters lot. or the yeah, next level like of like, like using that. like can't, or using the apps to like make it even better. Yeah, or like face what what's it called? Face tomb. face app or something? Or? <laughs> face tone. It's face tone. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just know something. What about for the guys? Mm, I mean, honestly, oh, you know what? I go to the gym a lot, so I have a lot of like gym rat friends, mm -hmm. and like they'll look like really good in those pictures, like really buff and everything. And once they start flexing and all that stuff like that, boom, like the the tummy drops. It doesn't look like the six pack from the pictures. <laughs> no, because I've been catfished like that too, and I was like, mm. Dang. "Man, that's crazy." No yeah. So, <laughs> so what I was thinking whenever I made that question was, I was like, I, in my opinion, what I like to teach women is like the number one way that I think guys catfish right now is through uh, what they wear, like mm. trying to look like they're valuable, trying but to look like they, they have money, but really it's like their homies shit. Like you were mm -hmm. saying, like they're like wearing their homies yeah, Gucci or something. Yeah. And I think that's like a huge way that guys catfish because they, they look like a provider, but they're really not. They're like, but they, they, like they look like they got money, but they don't. But I feel like in Dallas, that's everybody. That oh, is everybody. Yeah. yeah. It is everybody. Yeah. Really well, I mean, I, I think a real man doesn't even do any of that stuff. And like, like they do their own thing. They don't even think about what everybody else is doing, you know? You got to look for the ones that's walking. Yeah, and, there, and, there, and there's tons that are like that. Um, for one thing that I was going to say about women, though, catfishing, it's definitely social media, like crazy. Like, I cannot express to you how many times I see girls that call themselves, like, tens, and, they and like, you see them in real life, and they're fours or fives. But if you look at their Instagram, I'd agree. You do look like a ten on your Instagram. You do. Like, all these pictures all edited and, like, how you – and all the perfect pictures, though, they do look like tens on their Instagram. They don't look like that in real life, though. It's crazy. Yeah, they um, work them it, angles. Yeah, work them <laughs> angles, like y'all were saying. Um, I have one one thing though for, yeah, for, for the lady right next to you on the left of you. Yeah. Uh, you had mentioned that guys are being scavengers in the and other people's sections at clubs. Wouldn't you say women do that too? No, we, we call, uh, no, no, we actually, no, no. Uh, you no. don't have to finish the question. No, you're not a scavenger. It's it's an equal it's an equal thing. Like you want guys want beautiful women in their sections. That's why you get Correct. invited. So in order to do that, we get free liquor. We get we get the seats. We get the liquor. We get the we get the vibes. You get you get beautiful women. So no, it's not a scavenger. Now don't get me wrong. If you're not invited and you try to sneak your way in, yeah. yes, you can be a scavenger. However. I've never snuck my way into a section. I've always been you invited. Have to. I, I, I'm yeah. not going unless I have. I know somebody yeah. with a section. That's. I'm at that age in my life to where I'm not general mission. I'm not standing up. I, <laughs> I don't care. Like if I go to a bar that's cool, I'm not going to a club that I know I'm not going into a section. So I don't think women can be a scavenger. Like if you're invited. Well, you're not a scavenger. You can be a bottle rat, though. Yes, that's the thing. Like, like, like girls may not be a scavenger, but you can definitely be a bottle so rat. So what do you classify as a bottle rat? A girl that jumps from table to table. That's a bottle. The same rat. night. Like, like yeah. Oh yeah. 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 They, yeah, they yeah, go yeah, from yeah. table to table. Oh no, I don't yeah. do that. Uh -uh, well, that's not no. Yeah. See. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, there's definitely some girls, though, that do that. They literally just go and they just no. – and they table hop, though. You, you might go with your friends, though, and you're like, this is our table, this is our sex, and we're staying here all night. But there is definitely a big number of girls that table hop, and, like, that's how they get free drinks But also, night, like, what's the to. problem? There's if nothing they, wrong if they with that. Know, yeah, if I'm they, not complaining I'm about say, it. Like, if, if they go to the table and the guys that bought the section want to give them liquor – What's wrong with being a table yeah, rat? No, I'm not saying there's anything not, wrong with that. I'm just saying that it's personally. a bottle rat. Yeah. Yeah. If a girl wants to be a bottle rat, she's more welcome to be a bottle rat. I'm just saying she's but a bottle get, rat. But that's like a very bad connotation. Can you call somebody a rat? Mm. That's nothing good. Well, I mean, I, I don't think there's – I mean, though. you just said – even <laughs> yeah, I mean, even you just said that, like, you don't do that type of stuff. No, but I don't think And I think there's a reason why. I think there's a there's, there's I mean, a negative connotation with it even to you. But I'm not – it was not even that. I'm just not going to somebody's section that I don't know. 
And that's and how so that's most how, people are, unless yeah. they're scummy in some way, so you know? I don't think they're kind of like a bottle females, rat. Because some females, they, that's not good to be a, with a rat. Whatever you just said, they ain't a bottle rat. rat. Yeah. So I don't even think you should try to justify that for them, because that's still not good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I I yeah. good. It's okay. All y'all are above yeah. them. Nobody here is a bottle rat, so who cares? You know, fuck them. No, we're about to find out the truth, Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I want to know, do you feel like self-love can replace the desire for intimacy from other humans? Do y'all feel like self-love can replace the desire for intimacy from another human, from another guy? Uh, we'll start with you this time. Yeah, this is, this is a new question. <laughs> Wait, repeat that again. Do you feel like self-love, like how much you love yourself, can <laughs> replace the desire that you would normally have for intimacy from another person? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Never really thought about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, like... I guess if you, like, really love yourself, you don't – I don't really know if this is going to go on the lines of the topic. But it's, like, if you really love yourself, you're not going to be so dependent and feel the need that someone has to Has to you. fill a void or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like that's a very – I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a <laughs> – It's a weird question, huh? Yeah. I heard this on another channel. I wish I remember who it was because I shot him out. Uh what do you think? Do, do you feel like self-love can replace the desire for intimacy from other people? Mm, I would have to say yes. Just for the simple fact of it is you can't love somebody else unless you love yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can try it, but you just it's going to be a trial and error. I have to say, like, just from my own experiences, like, I had to, I had to figure myself out. I had to figure out what I like. I had to figure out how I know how to love. What's my love language? Mm -hmm. You can't go to, into a relationship with somebody else they don't even, you don't even know nothing about yourself mm -hmm. so i definitely think yeah self-care definitely right before okay what do you think do you do so i'll disagree um and i'll piggyback off of you i don't think you can have one without the other like even if you have self-love and you can be the most self-love bitch ever right <laughs> but that still does not replace the intimacy that you'll find with a partner true and so and also you can't have you can't have true intimacy with the partner without having self-love so i think that you can't ha like you can't replace one with the other you have to have both um and if you don't have if you mi you're missing the other one ultimately mm -hmm. so yeah i say no okay what do you think i agree with you i feel like you even if you do love yourself a lot or whatever the case may be, it's still like an emotional standpoint when you're like, you know, you want that type of intimacy from someone else. And even if like, you know, there are people who, you know, don't end up in relationships like forever, but it's like it's still like something that wants that void of having a partner or because a, you can't love yourself like how your partner would love you or you can't you're not going to be able to, you know, just you can't always do everything for yourself. So like loving yourself and then having being whole that contributes like that's a big part you have to be whole in order to love the other person and you know come into this relationship as a whole but you need that intimacy just in general just like rather if even even if it's platonic like mm -hmm. you still need that type of intimacy from others rather than you can't just get it from you can't yourself. just from yourself yeah, no. yeah what do you think I don't know if it's going to be on topic, but mm, I agree with them with the no because I love myself wholeheartedly. I do. But I'll be bored sometimes, so I'll be talking to boys. You know, I'll be talking to different people. I'll be talking to, for different things. You know, one person got a car that's clean. I ain't going to lie because, you know, I'll be bored. But I love myself for that because I know not to talk to no one person. Yeah. Because I see people, they talk to one person, they be getting cheated on. And sometimes they boyfriend be trying to talk to me, so it be kind of weird. So that's why I be saying, like, <laughs> I love on. myself wholeheartedly. But... You do need in intimacy from other people, like men, because like doing it by yourself, you're gonna want to do it for men. Like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even sit here and lie. When I go outside or go out, I look good because it's like I know I look good for myself. But dang, who else think I look good? He think I look good. Oh, he might. Oh, she think I look good. I'm not gay, but she might think I look good. Like <laughs> you just go out there just to look good for yourself and for other people. Like don't lie, you know we do go out there looking good for other people in ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to you because you're the first person on our show that's ever admitted that, man. So <laughs> really appreciate that. nobody ever admits that they do make their I'm just real. That's just their me, beauty though. for other people to gain attention for others. Yeah, no, it is rare to see uh, some honesty like that. Uh, 